Hello, all you beautiful people in Webtown, and welcome back to Crypto Comics 4, Comics Greatest World, week four in Cinnabar Flats. This is the end of it, right here. We've gone through 16 weeks of comic book releases from Dark Horse Comics, highlighting an array of new heroes in a whole new universe. It is Comics Greatest World. Now, we started in the dark city of Arcadia with X. We continued on where we met indelible characters like Ghost. We continued on into the utopic Golden City, a near utopia that had just declared independence from the United States. We aren't sure why they have this unique fashion style, but they do. Then we continued on into the industrial city of Steel Harbor, where we met characters like Barb Wire, best known for the movie starring Pamela Anderson. Then we ended up right here in Cinnabar Flats, a desert town on the edge of a military base in Nevada. Week one was Division 13, week two was Hero Zero, week three was King Tiger, not to be confused with the Tiger King. Carol Baskins, not welcome on Crypto Comics. Just for clarification, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we get into Out of the Vortex. With a, an incredible cover by Frank Miller. Or maybe it's a rushed cover by Frank Miller. I'm not sure I wasn't there. But this is where it all ends. We have gone through this all month here on Crypto Comics, and I can't believe, I can't believe it's, it's finally come to this. I can't wait to find out what has been happening in, in these comics, because I'm curious to know. And uh, here we go. As always, our prologue sequence is by Mike Richardson, with art by who? Lee Weeks. Main story by Randy Stradley with art by Bob McLeod of the Clan McLeod. There can be only one. 1993. The cavern complex is dark and deserted. Government scientists no longer try to understand what has happened here, content instead to monitor the vortex and contain it. Now three strange figures have gained access to the compound. The Seekers have arrived, searching for the one they call the Heretic. Cinnabar Flats, U.S. Army Research Center, Nevada. Just over an hour ago, a trio of beings from another world battled their way into this high security complex. Help me. Now, a very different trio of beings is making their way out. Please, the pain. Oh man, are, are you in pain? Yes. It looks like it really hurts. Would you like me to make the pain go away? Yes, please. Sure thing, pal. <laughs> Tales from the crypt. Sorry, I just had to do that. Uh, what happened out here? It looks like somebody fought a war, but the only casualties are our boys. Yeah, well, if the army's got a problem, let the army deal with it. Don't forget, Vapor, if our boys catch us, it's right back to our cells in Block 13. Not this time, Charger. Not ever again. She turns into Vapor. That's pretty cool. And this is a cat guy with a metal jaw. Okay. She's got the right idea, Manx. Come on, let's put some miles between us and this dump. Similar thoughts are, no doubt, passing through the minds of Colonel Tom Howard's hastily assembled assault force. As they approach the part of the Cinnabar Flats installation that houses the anomaly known as the Vortex. That's where they breach the containment wall, Colonel. The apparent focus of the attack by the alien beings who call themselves Seekers. See, here they are peeking through there. I detect traces of the energy signature we seek, brothers, but they read as if coming from a great distance. Patience, Brother Rimmon. Continue scanning. All right, Anderson, fall back. Let us handle this. Please don't cut me out of this, Colonel. I can handle a weapon as well as any of the men. Okay, we know where that's going. I fear Brother Rimmon may be right. The only traces of the enemy I can detect are distant and faint. Perhaps combining our scans into a single beam would give us more fruitful results. Your suggestion is unorthodox, Brother Paimon. But this is an unorthodox situation. We will try it. Hmm. 
So they put their beams together and they're crossing streams, like boys peeing in the same urinal. And while they shoot, the creatures have resumed their attack. The creatures have resumed their attack. No matter, our defenses remain intact. Proceed. And then just a giant boom. So powerful it knocks the color out of the world. Hoyo Grande Nevada, formerly nothing more than a white spot in the highway, whose only claim to fame was its proximity to North America's largest sinkhole. Now it's a destination for diehard gamblers, the culturally impoverished and the hopelessly lost. Called the town that Reno Laughlin built, there are those who say Laughlin should have left well enough alone. Yeah, this is a... I don't know what's going on here, but all of a sudden, you know, it makes things change. There's two sons. They're walking out of a slot machine, and then they're in the middle of a grass field with dragonflies. And then there's snakes coming out when she wins. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Whatever. And then he gets confused. Ah, wrath. What the? See, it's, it's our friends from Division 13, whatever, right? And then they're walking around, and it's like, hey, we're on an alien planet, how's this possible? Hey, would you look at that? And it's Tiger King, right? Yeah, look, it's all coming together. Wow, they're tying it up in a bow in a way that's really not interesting. This is indeed a very strange sight. And Davey's getting back home with Zero, sneaking into his bedroom. Hey, Zero, what's happening? I'm in a pterodactyl world. He's gone to the savage land. And then he falls back into the window. Oof. David, are, are you all right? Huh? What? Yeah, I'm all right. I, I was asleep. Is, is anything wrong? No, no. Everything's fine. Good night. Yeah. Good night, son. His dad works in the adult video industry. Man, that was close. Zero, are you there? I'm here, David. Where'd you go? You missed something weird. Something really big. I didn't go anywhere. You did. And as for something big, it's about to happen. Anderson, are you okay? Yes, I think so. I was knocked down, but I'm a strong, independent woman, and I'll make it. Uh, what about the aliens? Looks like they're back in business. Brother Ariok, what is your status? Communication was temporarily severed. There was an explosion, Sister Jacorn. Some type of feedback from the anomaly. It appears to have stabilized now. Paimon, Rimmon, and I have resumed scanning by combining our probes into a single beam. Proceed with caution, Brother Ariok. Energy signatures are consistent with those of the heretic. But power levels are fluctuating wildly. Your concern is duly noted, Sister Jacorn. But I believe our current tact is... No! Discontinue scans! Repeat! Energy readings are beyond anticipated safe levels. Discontinue scanning protocols immediately. Brother Ariok, do you hear me? She doesn't have the glasses on. What? Mm, I like them with the glasses on. I have... Returned! Whoa, that's a pretty cool panel. That's on par with some image comic stuff, I think. Continued next month? You'd better believe it. What? But it's 16 weeks. What do you mean, Crypto? What do you mean, continued on? Next, the battle continues in, out of the vortex. Issue one. Coming up next on Crypto Comics. But until then, here's an excerpt from a 1947 classified report on the underground construct discovered at Cinnabar Flats. In summary, the structure was built for purposes as mysterious as the current whereabouts of the builders. Didn't tell us anything, did it? You know, I wonder who won that contest. If you're the guy that won the contest, or the girl, uh, you know, leave a message down there in the comment section. It'd be interesting to know that person's out there. So, Out of the Vortex, week four, Cinnabar Flats, Comics Greatest World, Dark Horse Comics, we're coming back with Out of the Vortex, issue number one, Comics Greatest World, Cinnabar Flats, Dark Horse Comics, right here on Crypto Comics. <laughs>